Hey everybody, welcome to this week's edition of NHL Hottest and Coldest Teams. Today we'll be looking at the five hottest and five coldest teams in the NHL right now. Before we get started, this video is brought to you by BetUS, America's favorite sports book. Please check out the link down in the description. You can get a sign-up bonus of up to 125% on your initial deposit when you sign up with BetUS today. It's a great day to start winning. Well, let's get into it here and let's take a look at some teams that have certainly been winning the hottest teams in the NHL right now. Coming in at number five, we have the Colorado Avalanche, who after a little bit of a slow start to the season, are finally starting to look like the Avalanche we all expected. They are 6-3-1 in their last 10 games. They have won four in a row and are playing very Avalanche-like hockey right now, and obviously that is equating to wins in the win column. At number four, we've got the Los Angeles Kings, another team that got off to kind of a slow start but has really gotten on track and starting to look like the team that we thought they would be. 7-2-1 in their last 10 games, also on a four-game winning streak and really starting to pile up some points and climb in the standings in the Western Conference. At number three, we have the New York Islanders who are 8-2-0 in their last 10 games and have won the last one out to uh, get back into the win column. The Islanders look like they are back. The Islanders look like last year was just a really bad, one-off, terrible season, and that the Islanders are back and going to be a contending team in the Metropolitan Division. They certainly look like a playoff team right now, and this is a team that is playing really good hockey. At number two, we have the Boston Bruins, who have been one of the best teams in the entire NHL this season. They are 9-1-0 in their last 10 games and have won three straight after losing to Toronto uh, last weekend. They've come out really taking care of business this week. They've won their last three games, and all of a sudden, they are right back up there, one of the hottest and certainly one of the best teams in the league to start this season. But they're not number one, and that's because number one, once again, same as last week, the New Jersey Devils, 9-1-0 in their last 10 games as well. However, they have the longest active win streak in the NHL, nine in a row for New Jersey, just winning, 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 an absolutely unbelievable start to the season for the Devils. And man, this is a team that is surprising everybody with how great they've been. And they look like they've got a real shot to not only be a playoff team this year, but potentially win the Metropolitan Division. I mean, they're in that first spot right now. There are some other really good teams in that division as well. But boy, New Jersey is playing with the best of them right now. And they look absolutely fantastic. Nine wins in a row for the Devils. Switching things over to the other side of things, we have the coldest teams in the NHL. These are teams that are not playing well right now. Coming in at number five, we have the Vancouver Canucks, who have been a major disappointment pretty much this entire season so far. They are 4-5-1 and one in their last 10, and they have lost two in a row. And Vancouver just cannot seem to get any sort of sustained winning streak going to try and climb themselves out of the hole that they've put themselves in early this season. And uh, it's continuing to look like it's going to be a long year in Vancouver. At number four, we have the Columbus Blue Jackets. They've gotten a little bit better than where they were at last week. However, still just 3-6-1 and one in their last 10 games. They lost their last game in overtime. And it's been really, really difficult for this team to find ways to win. So Columbus looks like they're probably going to be on this list a lot this year and continuing to struggle as they sit near the bottom of the standings in the Eastern Conference and in the NHL. At number three, we have the Pittsburgh Penguins. Really thought this team was going to turn things around by now, but... They really haven't. Just 2-6-2 two, and two in their last 10 games. They lost their last game in overtime as well. And, I mean, you're not going to go anywhere in the NHL only getting two wins out of a 10-game stretch. And now Pittsburgh was on this list last week. 
with, I believe, the same record. And here they are again a week later, still just 2-6-2 two, and two in their last 10 games. So the Penguins have not been able to right the ship yet. They have not been able to get any sort of winning streak going. And uh, Pittsburgh still very much struggling early here in this 22-23 season. Number two, we've got the Anaheim Ducks. Anaheim has had a very tough start to the season, and that is continuing as they are near the bottom of the Western Conference. 3-7-0 in their last 10 games. They've lost three straight, and wins have been very, very tough to come by for Anaheim. And I have a feeling we're going to be saying that probably a lot this year for the Ducks based on the way that they have played so far. But they're not number one, and that's because number one on this list, unfortunately, is the Buffalo Sabres, who are also 3-7-0 in their last 10 and have lost a league-leading active losing streak of five games in a row for the Sabres. Uh, another loss coming last night against the Bruins on home ice, and Man, it was such a promising start to the year for Buffalo. This was a team that played really, really well the first few weeks, came out of the gates flying. I think I even said during streams on this channel probably just a couple weeks ago that Buffalo looks like they could be a playoff team and playing the best hockey that I've seen the Sabres play in a long, long time. And then all of a sudden, it's really gone off the rails up there for Buffalo right now. Um, again, five straight losses, longest active losing streak in the league. Three and seven in their last 10 and uh, really struggling right now to find any way to get some points for the Buffalo Sabres as they have sunk out of a playoff spot. I believe they were as high as second place in the Atlantic division. They have now sunk all the way down to seventh in the division and uh, it's been a rough last week or two here for the Sabres. So those are your hottest and coldest teams currently in the NHL. Obviously, some teams have really started to put some winning streaks together and play really good hockey. And other teams kind of struggling a bit and not getting a whole lot of points in the standings. But we'll see how this looks next week when we do this again. But right now, those were your five hottest and five coldest teams. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. Check out Off The Wall Hockey across all social media. Link tree, link in the description. And if you want to further support the channel, the links to our merchandise store membership and donations are down in the description as well. Thanks again so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.